Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Rad Kutarot and uh, in this whole video uh, you are going to see the um, weekly tarot readings August 3rd to August 9th 2020 in terms of career and in terms of relationship uh, and uh, with that being said, a few notes about the show before uh, you see the reading itself you can skip forward if you want to but um, you also, if you do like the way I read, you can participate for uh, my tarot classes uh, in there. I'm going to explain you uh, how to read tarot cards in generally uh, with the spread that I'm using in this very video. And uh, the first, the beginner's tarot class is now available uh, recorded, which means that you can take it on your own pace. And in there you're going to find 12 hours of content, explanation, I I'd like to think a profound explanation of the major arcana and how to use them in terms of career, in terms of relationship or in terms of a looking for career or looking for a relationship and as well how they stand in the spread itself. And at the end as well you're going to have a few examples how to read just only with the major arcana. That being said, the you're going to be pretty set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings uh, when you finish the course and uh, yeah if you do want as well personal reading uh, you can go to my website uh, which is listed here into the description uh, of this video and uh, there pretty much on the very front page you're gonna find a full list of my services and as well their pricing the course can be purchased from the same website going into the tarot classes section so that being said lay back and uh, enjoy the show Right, so uh, let's have a look at uh, what Pisces are to experience uh, throughout the upcoming week. So the first thing that uh, we're going to have a look at, guys, is going to be your love and relationship experiences there. So let me, uh, let me shuffle the cards and see what you got. All right, so the first one we have here, wow, the Page of Pentacles. All right, so next one is going to be the Five of Pentacles. Moving next, uh, we do have the King of Pentacles. The last one is going to be the Star card. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, so um, you are drawing the uh, short straw here, and I'm saying that in a positive way, because this uh, these cards, uh, for those which are single, are very, very strong cards, okay? And a point to that uh, things can develop in two ways, right? One of the way is about the reconciliation, right? And that's uh, the conditions under the, the reconciliation can happen is uh, if you still, uh, how can I say, if you still are willing to give to the person that you want to reconcile with or that person wants to reconcile with you. So pretty much the um, the experiences that you do have beforehand, meaning the previous relationship, ended up abruptly. That is a uh, the conditions of making a reconciliation. Now, if, that, if that's not your case, then then we got you covered as well because uh, because because we do have the page of pentacles at the first position. That means that a friend of yours, okay, it's uh, it has more than a friendship type of emotions towards you, okay. So if you are starving for love and you are looking for love, you don't have to look very far, guys. In fact, love is just in front of your nose. However. Uh, we do have the Five of Pentacles here into the second position and uh, this card pretty much points that, uh, well, it, it relates to the feeling of being insecure and that is exactly what is going to stand on your way. It is like you are going to feel uncertain that that thing may work out, okay? Or that you are even, you, you are going to be uncertain, do you really want it, okay? But having the King of Pentacles here, you need to know that whoever stands on the other side, either a friend of yours or, other, uh, or either an, an ex, they're willing to give you, all right, whatever you need. You need love, they're willing to give it to you as long as you are willing to give it to them. 
uh, you need attention, they're willing to give it to you as long as you're willing to give it to them as well. The King of Pentacles in this position is all about the game of giving and taking. You cannot take if you are not willing to give. So where that thing leads at the end, well, we do have the star card, which is the end of your um, phase of turmoil in terms of love, all right? You have been starved of love, well, that is the end of the year of turmoil, okay? And now you will have to, you are to experience a an unfolding love. And again, that is in an unfolding one. It is not straight away love. So you have to take your time and you have to invest in it so it can unfold. Now, if we're talking about ongoing relationship with those cards, uh, they are pointing to the uh, to the unfound potential that uh, this relationship or a marriage has that you are in. And while you may experience you you are you may be experiencing doubts in that direction or certain problems there into the marriage as the five of pentacles there stands problems or doubts that making you feel uncertain. Can this relationship or marriage last? It can, okay? And in fact, this week, for what it seems, is going to be the final week where you're going to have those uncertainties and insecurities. For a reason being that your partner is, or husband or a wife is going to do something that will convince you in their devotion and in their faithfulness as well. And uh, the only ingredient that it is missing is your devotion and your faithfulness, and you should be ready to give it into the relationship. And that will allow you, or the next phase that happens here, which is the star card that marks, is a phase of long-term planning. That could be a planning for engagement, that could be a planning for a, 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 a new home, children, etc., etc. But the thing with the card is that you're going to plan how to hold to the high standards you both have for each other. So that was about relationship. Now moving next, we do have a, a career. Let me again shuffle and see what you got, guys. Alright, so first one, look at that. I mean, first one, star card, followed by the chariot. Moving next, uh, we do have the world. Oh my god. And the last one is going to be the Knight of Wands. Oh my god, I mean, that week, I, I'm almost envious uh, to you, Pisces, because career-wise, this week, things are getting even better than the relationship of, for whatever it is to happen throughout the week for you. Um, I, I will address straight away those that are jobless. A, a fantastic opportunity should come your way, okay? That will pretty much going to put a new perspective for you moving forward. Now, important thing here is to approach it. Um, how do, uh, what is the opposite of cockiness, right? Where, where you are cocky and you think that it is a piece of cake, right? So uh, humble, I mean, uh, humble probably. So you need to approach it with the uh, uh, being humble and um, being attentive to what people tell you of how things to be done because with the knights of wands at the end of the reading here it points that there are quite a lot of things that you have to align yourself with there are certain if you will rule stipulations or in generally code of conducts that the company or the job that you're going to start working at has that you are unfamiliar with and you gotta find your way how to manifest them as best as you can okay but nonetheless if you are looking for work and i mean looking like you are applying for jobs and those kind of stuff looking those cards there is no way that you are not going to have your opportunity and uh, pretty much your spotlight that you can stand into the only thing here it is that if you approach it with uh, being uh, or rather like if you approach it on a high horse and being cocky However, those who are uh, in a work and they do kind of have a business and so on and so forth, important week is coming ahead, guys. 
because it does look like the many important matters and endeavors that you are developing can be closed. They, they can be manifested, all right? They, they can be, uh, be executed positively. So at the end of the day, it will be a successful finalization of a project. And that will allow you to uh, have a stepping stones or a milestones from which you can initiate a new project or rather like new endeavors that are to appear as a new perspectives. And they are, they are going to be a long term things. But one is certain, certain here having the star card at the start of your uh, career reading. It is that this week is going to be a week where you pretty much develop either a foundation or a plan that has a, a, a longevity, okay? It will be a long-term thing. And at the end, is going to pretty much, once again, answer to your high standards and to your high expectations. Uh, important thing here to acknowledge as well, it is that maybe things are not gonna happen from the first try, okay? Here and there, you may want to have the, uh, the results more perfect than they actually appear. Uh, and uh, if that's your case, um, don't you worry because you will have a chance to fix things around, okay? So um, one result is going to be next to a final, all right? So you can always backtrack and fix things, play around with, uh, uh, with circumstances and so on and so forth until you do find your niche how to uh, how to move forward but once you get into the dance that is an expression we do have in our country you got to play the dance to the final note okay you, you do not back off it so that being said that was your uh, weekly general tarot readings hopefully you do enjoy them and you like them and um, uh, we may we may see each other around until then bye